Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, the 100% walkthrough. My name is Alderson and today we begin our episode in the Temple of Time and we're gonna go meet Sheik again. You destroyed the wicked creatures that haunted the temple and awakened the sage. But there are still other sages who need your help. In order to awaken all the other sages, you must become even more powerful. You must travel over mountains, underwater, and even through time. If you want to return to your original time, return the Master Swords to the pedestal of time. By doing this, you will travel back in time seven years. The song to return you to the Temple of Time, the Prelude of Light. So this seems like it would be the warp song for the Temple of Time. There are six warp songs in total, and now we know two of them. We'll learn another one next episode, probably. It's for each region, for Death Mountain, for um, Lake Hylia, for the forest, each region has its own warp song. So we just learned the Prelude of Light, as long as you hold the Ocarina of Time and the Master Sword. You hold time itself in your hands. So now we can go here and drop the Master Sword into the pedestal, but we're not going to be doing that just yet. We've got business to attend to as Adult Link, not Child Link. So the first thing that we have to do is go to Kakariko Village. Because the, today's episode, if you can't tell by the title, we are going to go get the Begoran Sword. The Begoran Sword is a giant two-handed sword that uh, you are able to get, but it requires a lot of time. It requires a, a very long side quest. It's more of a trading kind of side quest. You go all over the place in Hyrule trading items. And the first item to get is over here in Kakariko. The Kaku Lady, if we speak to her, she will give us an egg. I bred a new type of miniature Kaku. I call it the Pocket Kaku. I don't get goosebumps from this. Like, what doesn't make any sense is that she breeds Kakus, but she gets goosebumps from them. I don't get that. It makes a very happy crow, especially when it wakes up a very heavy sleeper. Oh, okay. You, you look like you're good at handling Kakus. Yeah, like only he uses bombs and swords and whatnots to hurt them. Yeah, he's very good at handling them. What do you think? Will you try? Yeah, sure, whatever. Alright, so this is very similar to that that time when you get the egg from Malin. Way, way back in, in the Harrow Castle area. You get the egg and then you gotta wait until morning. Or we could just pop in here and we'll play the sun song because the person that we have to wake up is in this house and you'll see who he is in a moment. So we'll just play the sun song twice. And there we go, a chicken hatched with an egg. The miracle of life. Now we can come over here and put the chicken there, and I'm out of arrows, that's a big problem. But right here, we'll wake up Talon. Can a person get a little shut eye around here? So I'll speak to him. Did you say Malin? Thanks, I'm going back to the ranch then. Yeah! So yeah, he eventually goes back to the ranch, but the game is a little lazy to program from actually going there until we go to the ranch. You know, that's, that's how the game works. But with that aside, we made the Kaku happy because it woke up somebody. That doesn't make any sense, but... Oh! 
Your cuckoo looks pretty happy. You must have wakened an extremely lazy guy. Yeah, Talon is lazy. You're a good cuckoo keeper. Okay, so it seems like we'll get a rare valuable cuckoo instead. Its name is Kohiro. Hmm, it used to be her brother's cuckoo. But Kohiro has stopped crowing. Do you want to keep Kohiro? So yeah, this is a blue chicken. It's, it's unlike your normal chickens. It's blue. So Kohiro is located in the Lost Woods, so we'll just... We'll play the Minuet of Forest, our warp song. Oh, I'm out of arrows. Oh, that's a big, that's actually a big move. Because usually you can shoot this guy down with arrows, but we're going to have to play smart. We're going to have to go back and forth. There we go. Oh, oh gosh. I forgot there was a mob in there. There we go. He's taken care of. Wait, does he drop arrows? Oh, uh, drops nothing. Okay, whatever. Because I try not to buy stuff in this game, like arrows and bombs and stuff, because they give them to you all the time. But of course, when I need arrows, when I'm out of them, they won't give me them. So now we'll just exit the Lost Woods, and apparently Kohiro just crowed. That's kind of odd, actually. But the guy is located to the left, right here, where a, the Skull Kid used to be. He now sits here. So we'll give this to him. Kohiro, why? Normally only a nice guy like me can tame you. Which means... You. You must be a nice guy. Must be. You must be. M please, Mr. Nice Guy, please. Deliver this stuff to the old hag in the potion shop in Kakariko Village. Alright, this is where... The, this side quest does this a couple times where you have a time limit because we have well, three minutes to deliver this to Kakariko before it spoils. If it spoils then we have to start this quest all over again. This is where this bean sprout here, this bean plant, comes in real handy because you can just come over here straight to Harrow Field instead of going all the way back to Kokiri Forest. So now we just shaved off like 20 seconds, which is really nice. And then on top of that, we can call Epona. And playing songs, by the way, like right now, it does not count towards the time. So we'll just get on top of Epona. And... Come on, there, there we go. So yeah, we've got plenty of time. We've got plenty of time. But if you if you don't have the bean plant. And if you don't have Epona, then uh, you might run, not run out, but it would be a lot tighter. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna look for these right here. Okay, never mind. I was hoping, because sometimes you'll find arrows in the grass. I might actually have to suck it up and go to the shop and spend some rupees for the arrows. Or not, you know. There we go. Off the horse, into the village. That cloud over Death Mountain, there's something strange about it. Yeah, we'll, ta we'll tackle that in the next episode, don't worry about that. Because if we look up on Death Mountain, which we can't apparently, um, but we'll look at Death Mountain in a moment actually, we'll be going up Death Mountain for the side quest. Um, but, speaking of the side quest, the potion shop is up here. There are two potion shops, actually, in the adult era. We've got this one, back over here. And, um, yeah, if you go back here to, to the back door, you'll pop out back here. And we'll, we'll jump down, climb up these stairs, and this is the potion shop that the guy was talking about. The potion shop. And uh, that doesn't work. Come on, we gotta talk to her. 
We must have something. Yes, we have these mushrooms. That bun yet to go into the forest. I see. Hey, give it to me now. Yeah, Link is uh, dealing with the drug dealer here or something. The music fits perfectly. If you see that fool, he was a stand. It's the strongest medicine I've ever produced. However, this medicine will not work on a monster. Oh, we have an old potion. It may be useful for something. Let's go to the last woods. Now, this does not have a time limit, so we're, we can take our time. I guess that's true. But, but, uh, with the items that have a time limit, don't try the warp songs, okay? Because then, if you try to do the warping, I believe also if you try to go through the tunnels, like from the Lost Woods to Grand City, it won't work and your stuff will spoil so don't try that before we leave though we're gonna buy some blue fire and this is for the future this is why I have so much money because this blue fire is gonna be for the future for the actually we'll be using this later in the episode uh, no thank you we'll be using this blue fire later in the episode but right now we're gonna head back to the lost woods So we're back here, but instead of the guy, a Kokiri girl is here. The guy isn't here anymore. Anybody who comes into the forest will be lost. Everybody will become a Stalfos. Everybody, Stalfos. So he's not here anymore. So apparently he died, I guess. I don't know what happens to him, but she suggests that he dies. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, yes, yes. Everybody will become a Stalfos. Um... Which is, the Stafos are the, uh, the warriors that we fought in the Forest Temple, the skeletal guys. And medicine is green, the Forest Mushrooms, give it back! There we go. So now we have the guy's poacher saw. He must have left this behind. Hey, 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 are you going to be too? That, that line right there suggests that Link, this Link does die in the Lost Woods and does become the, the, what's it called? Oh, Skull Kid. I don't know how to kill these guys. I honestly don't. Cause you can. Okay, well, I, cause I think, I don't know how you kill them, but there is a way. And if you do, you get like 200 rupees, I believe. But what was I talking about? Oh, yes. In Twilight Princess, there's the Hero's Shade. Many suggest that the Hero's Shade is this Link. And that is probably true, as uh, there's a lot of strong evidence pointing towards that. But there's one thing. That means that the Hero of Time, it looks like he became a Stalfos. And... Stalfos are when people, like Hylians, die in the Lost Woods. They go to the Lost Woods, they get lost, and they end up becoming Stalfos. So probably Link ended up going to the Lost Woods, went too deep, got killed, and became a hero shade. But with that aside, the saw, we're gonna go take it to Garuda Valley. Because there's a guy over there, the, uh, the carpenter actually, they, um, in the child's timeline, not timeline, but like in the child era, there was, a uh, the, the workers and whatnot from Kakariko, they, uh, they're not there anymore in the adult timeline. They went to the Garuda Valley to go fix the bridge because later the bridge gets broken and so they have to go fix it. But, uh, something happens and they can't fix it, so that is why... When we go to Garuda Valley, unfortunately, it'll be nighttime. But actually, it being nighttime is good because it's, there is a gold scotula for us to collect now that we have the hookshot. And also, you will need um, Epona to cross this bridge. That's just that's so that's just epic. Before we talk to him, because he does need the saw. When you come back here, get off our horse. And then, uh, yeah, if we look up here, Skulltula. There we go. 
I believe this is our 49th Skulltula. Oh no, it's our 50th. Anyways, next time we go to Kakariko, there will be a very valuable prize for us. So let's talk to him. Give him his saw. Hey, that saw, it's mine. But I thought I left that saw with my old lady. My big Goron too broke. So I was going to Goron City to get it repaired. Y'all coming here is great timing. Will you give me my saw? Okay. Good kid, thanks. I'm sorry, I can't give you something that's good in return, but take this anyways. So apparently we traded the saw for this broken sword. Hmm, this sword will be very useful in the future. But as of right now, um, so we're gonna have to go to Kakariko. Well, actually, the, the fastest way to get there is leave Epona here. Warp to the Lost Woods yet again. I'll probably speed through this. So now we're going to traverse the Lost Woods backwards. Um, if you don't want to do this, then you could just walk out and whatnot. But our main goal is to go back to the Goron City. We want to go to Goron City, which is back over here, right, right here. So go through here into Goron City. Uh, I don't have any bows. Uh, I mean arrows. Okay, well, that's not a problem. Because we want to get to the top of Death Mountain. Now, there is one way we could get out of here the normal traditional way. Or we could go through the cavern. Death Mountain's crater, actually. You know, watch out for... There is a Gorn. One Gorn rolling here. Because all the Gorons left, for some reason, is very empty here. Yeah, here he is. He's coming. Okay, we did it. First try, that was easy. How could you do this to me? You, you're kind of your servants. Hear my name and tremble. I am Alderson, hero of the Gorons. Why, he has the same name as me. My name is also Alderson. You must be the legendary Dodongo Buster and hero Alderson, Dodongo Buster. I love that. Yeah, we, I remember doing it. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> it's a cool name. I really like it, I know, am I right? Alderson, you're a hero to us Gorons. I am so glad to meet you. Please give me your autograph, sign it to my friend Alderson of the Gorons. Oh, I guess it's not a good time to ask you for this. Please help everyone! My dad, Darunia, went to the Fire Temple. A dragon is inside. If we don't hurry up, even my dad will be eaten by the dragon. Boohoo! Blah blah blah. So we got to talk to him about both the dragon and the Gorons before we uh, before we can traverse uh, not traverse before we can continue on our adventure using a huge hammer. The hero of the Gorons, boom! He just exploded. I guess he had too many beans one night and it just kind of combusted. I know because my dad is a descendant of the hero. Boo hoo! Blah blah blah. Ask him about the Gorons. Everybody was taken to the fire temple. While my dad was out, Ganondorf's followers came and took them all away. All of them will be eaten by Vovagia. Vovagia is the uh, big evil dragon. And uh, it's up to us to go kill Vovagia and save the Gorons in the next episode. Well, maybe not in the next episode. Because the fire temple could be split into two episodes. Because these temples, they get very, very big. But he's going to give us a heat resistant tunic to help us in the next episode. This tunic looks real, real cool, by the way. It's red. Also, I hear a gold skull tula. Yeah, the gold skull tula in question, if we go over here, and, yeah, if we come up here, we shouldn't, oh, okay, no. We'll have to jump down here, right down here, 
on the second level, we can look up and there's a gold skull tula. This is only here... Okay, that's a less traditional way of getting it. But that gold skull tula is one of the gold skull tulas that appear only when you're an adult, not when you're a kid. So we'll come back here, pull back the statue again. Well, not again. Because if we pull the statue back, we reveal a little secret entrance to the Dongo's, not the Dongo's cavern, uh, Death Mountain Crater. This is a different part of Death Mountain Crater, and if we just roll jump here and then pull out our sword in the last minute, we can traverse this jump right here. You don't have to do that. I mean, I like to do it because it's, it's cool ninja moves from Link. So, anyways, uh, we're going to just climb this ladder right here and continue on through here, which we will pop up in the Death Mountain Peak. And up here, Death Mountain Trail. Yeah, that's the cloud over Death Mountain. But man, look at that Goron. He's huge. What's the matter? Why is he crying? My brother opened the new store. It's Mini Goron's Blade Store. However, I'm better at making blades. Hiding carpenters praise me for my skills. I'm not lying. So, this guy. Maybe if we give him the sword, maybe he'll fix it. That broken knife is surely my work. I really want to repair it, but but because of yesterday's eruption, my eyes are irritated. There are fine eye drops in Zora's domain. You will find them if you go to see King Zora. Please go get the eye drops. Okay, sure. So we got a prescription, and now. The easiest thing to do is warp back to the Lost Woods. Yes, we go to the Lost Woods a lot because of the warp points that are in the Lost Woods. Yes, let's go to the Lost Woods. So I'll probably speed through this yet again. So now, we want to head backwards like we did before to get to Grand City. But instead, we're gonna go to Zora's River, the, uh, right over here. We'll just ignore Mido for now, because he does nothing now. But we want to dive down here. There we go. Here is Zora's River. And it looks like it's snowing? Why? Why is it snowing? But we'll play Zelda's Lullaby here because we need to go king, uh, we need to go, uh, no, not kill, see King Zora. I, you know, if you could kill King Zora and then take the throne as your own, I wonder what would happen if Link could do that. That'd be a little weird. Let's go through here, uh, to King Zora. Well, um, wow. It's a winter's wonderland here. Maybe this is why it's, it's snowing. Apparently Zora's domain froze over. Hmm. Well, I hope you, uh, you bought that blue fire like you should have earlier because we're gonna need it. Because look, King Zora is encased in red ice. And you cannot melt red ice at all unless you have blue fire. Luckily, though, I have big brains. I bought blue fire in the, uh... I bought blue fire at the potion shop, so we'll just pop it here. Melt the ice. Jump up here, and then uh, talk to him. Oh, I've come back to life! Was it you who saved me? Don't be nervous. It looks like you have a hard time breathing underwater. Well, no crap, I am a human! I don't have gills. This is an expression of my attitude. I got to this tunic. So this is our second tunic and our final tunic in the game. So two tunics in one video. That's actually pretty that's actually pretty good. So yeah, this will prevent us from drowning. We'll wear them in the next few episodes when we tackle the water and fire temples. 
But, um, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we'll give him this prescription because we need some eye drops. This is what. Well. Hmm. Eye drops? You might say we have them. You might say we don't. We do have the ingredients. If you take the ingredients to the doctor at the lake laboratory, he can make the drops for you. But you need to deliver them fresh. Can you make it before they spoil? Yeah, sure. You used a prescription and received an eyeball frog. Alright, so we gotta be quick. We have three minutes to get to Lake Hylia without um, teleportation, without using any like tunnels, without using any warp songs, nothing. We just gotta get there. Which is why having bean plants, although this time around bean plants can't help us, but this is why having Epona would be very useful. Also, uh, Adult Link, he is tall enough that he can just traverse this river without having to swim. Which is, you know, I mean, this is Zora's River. It should be deeper, don't you think? So you'll head this way. And now, you know, just don't stop moving. Just don't stop moving. But there we go. We need to get to our field and then call Epona. Because once we're on Epona, uh, we'll go much faster. I love the Harrow Field music. It's got purpose to it. Alright, uh, Epona is at Gerudo Valley, I believe. We left her there. But, you know, this song is like magic. It just conjures Epona out of thin air. Yeah, there she is. Alright, I always have trouble climbing this stinking horse. There we go. We're still out of arrows. That's gonna have to change soon because we're gonna need them. So now down to Lake Hylia. If you, if you remember, Lake Hylia is down to the south. So, um, jump over this fence here. Onwards to the south and... Let's see if we can nab some arrows. Okay, we didn't this time. Alright, now, you're gonna want to make sure you have some carrots before these gates. This is vital. Because these gates are tall gates. There we go. There we go, okay. You do not want to get stalled by those. Because that will cost you. And you will have to start, not the entire quest over, but you'll have to start some of it over again. But this is like Hylia, and apparently it's empty. It's kind of a concern. Now before, we've got plenty of time, and I actually do not recommend doing this. Well, actually never mind. We only got 40 seconds left, but we're going to pop in here for a bit. Talk to this guy. And, uh, okay, well, Link is kind of dope. Blah, blah, blah. We are not a student of his, but we'll give him these frogs anyways. Oh, wow. I haven't seen an eyeball frog like this since Zora's domain froze over. His eyeballs are so delicious. Today I will cook fried eyeballs for the first time in a long time. Oh, hoi, 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 hoi. It's a lot of great stuff. Please say thank you to King Zora. Hey, what? He's out for making bigger ones eye jobs? Oh, how disappointing. You should have said so in the first place. And then, just like magic, he starts making them. And then, like, seriously, this guy should be working for at some hospital or something. Here it is. This medicine doesn't have any preservatives in it, so it won't last long. Okay, never mind about the working at a hospital. Run as fast as you can to Death Mountain. You're young. You can do it. So that's pretty much all the way from north to south. Well, from south to north. But they gave us an extra minute, which is fine by me because, well, before we leave Lake Hyla, there's a little bit of something I would like to do. Because if we come over here, there's this scarecrow. Remember, last time we played the Gorn's Lullaby, what well, I like to play Gorn's Lullaby. So we'll play that for him. And he'll remember it because we played it as a kid. 
Oh yeah, that's it. That's the tune. You rock. I didn't forget the song. I never forget anything. Blah, 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 blah. So, now if we play the song at our particular areas in the game, he'll appear and we can use him as a hookshot target. But that's just a little bit... I just wanted to get that out of the way nice and quick. I shouldn't have done it earlier, quite honestly. But we'll just come back on the opponent because you can you can get the Scarecrow song because now we have just learned the Scarecrow song and oh we got some arrows. But that's the Scarecrow song. It's a custom song that once you get it like what I just did, you play it as a child in front of them and then you play the same song again as an adult to confirm that's the Scarecrow song because you can change it I believe. Oh, I'm not entirely sure about that, but. Basically, the Scarecrow song. It can be a custom song, and you can use it to, to conjure the Scarecrow in particular areas where you can use him as a hookshot target. But that's not important right now. What is important is getting to Death Mountain on time. And that is very possible with the use of the opponent and a very, very important beam player. And now we're back in Kakarika Village with two, just over two minutes remaining. We need to move it. And we can't really go much faster than this. So it's just kind of like, uh, just move it faster. But as you can see, most of the people from the, the market are here. They moved from the Harrow Castle because Harrow Castle Town is closed. It got broken down. It got run over by the zombies, kind of like The Walking Dead, and so now they all came to Kakariko. But besides that, here we are in Death Mountain, and this right here, this bean sprout right here that we planted a while ago, we're gonna ride this up, and this takes us almost to the top of Death Mountain. This is a major game changer. So we'll jump off right here. And now we'll just turn around and do this little trick. Apparently we can't avoid every single rock, but this is mainly just to go faster because Link goes faster when he runs backwards. I don't know why, I don't know what kind of physics that is, but right now, oh, it's, it's a good thing we got some arrows. But, um, come on, there we go. Yeah, we have a minute left, so we can't screw up now. We have these Skotulas to take care of. And this Tech Titan is about to, to kill us. Oh boy, um... Yeah, let's just get right past this guy. Oh gosh, please, 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 please. Oh my gosh, that was close. That was close. But we've got plenty of time left over. It wouldn't be a big deal if we got knocked down. We'll come back over here. Yeah, that bean plant and Epona, so useful. If you don't have either, don't even bother trying to do this. But really, you brought the high drops. I'm so relieved. I'm going to use them right now. Wow! This is stimulating. It's working great. 10 out of 10 rating. Now I can get back to my playing business. My work is not very consistent, so I'll give you this so you won't forget. After a few days, please return. Wait. Just wait patiently. So, we got the Big Goron Sword claim check for it. So, we're gonna have to play the Sun Song three times. Or we could go do a bunch of side quests, but um, those side quests can wait. I just want the sword right now, so we'll just play the Sun Song three times. Well, not three times, six times, because twice for each day, and we need to wait for three days. So now, on the fourth day after all this waiting, 
I'll give him the claim check. The sword is my finest work. And we got the legendary Begoran sword. This blaze is forged by Master Smith and will not break. And this is uh, the two-handed sword I was talking about earlier. And man, it deals twice the damage of the Master Sword. We're, we won't be using it any uh, anymore this episode because I'm going to end it off here. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like and comment on this video. And please subscribe and click the bell if you uh, haven't. My Discord server is in the description below. Please go check it out. It was uh, lots of fun over there. We've got a decent community over there. Although they are quite inactive sometimes. People get busy. But... With that said, I'm Alderson, signing out. Have a nice day.